Not too long ago I ordered two quorum sewing fans to install here upstairs before I move out and there was a bit of a debacle with the blades because I was confused by the website and I ordered the wrong blades and they didn't go with the fans so I had to send them back and then they told me which ones I needed for these fans and then the blades come in the correct ones and there's only one set in the box so I had to call over there again and they said oh well they're uh, they're gonna be back ordered until I think it was like July 25 or something you know I mean this was a month or two ago so way out I says nah that ain't gonna work um, so I so I may have to get another fee in so I said, well, whatever, I'll just leave the one quorum here and I'll get another fan and then when the blades eventually show up then I'll have the, the complete fan at, at my house and maybe I'll put it in the kitchen or whatever. I don't know. So, I was looking on the Digit and Goodwill because they got selling fans on there. They used to have more interesting ones. A lot of the ones recently have been kind of bland. But they happened to have a real cheap one for just a couple of dollars. I think it was eight dollars. So I ordered the fan, and I think it costs like maybe 18 or 20 in total. Not bad. And uh, it still was cheaper than going to Home Depot and buying a little tin. Those things used to be, I think, like 15 or 20 beans. Now they're over 30. So, okay. So I ordered the new fan. These are the correct blades. Just wanted to check and make sure. So I ordered the fan, and I got an email from the Digitan Goodwill saying it shipped. And then about, I don't know, a couple of hours later, I got an email from Lighting New York, which is the store that was selling the fan blades. And they said, oh, this is wonderful. We were able to get the blades back in stock. We'll send them to you this week. And I just said, really? <laughs> Go figure. So now, I... Uh, I have this as well. <laughs> this is a uh, the Harbor Breeze equivalent to the Littleton. Oh great, here we do. And uh, yeah, so unbelievable. <laughs> I guess all I had to do. I should have done in the first place is I should have just bought a different fan and then it would have come real quick. <laughs> I mean you can't make this stuff up. It's comical. So now we got this. And uh, plans have changed. Originally I was uh, a mainstay. That's what this is. It's not Harbor Breeze. It's a mainstay. So this is the the uh, Walmart equivalent of the little tin and the uh, the price was uh, ended up being 23 beans eight dollars to ship something like this that's pretty good for, for right now yeah, what the rates are so anyways as I was saying is plans have changed I originally was going to uh, leave all the furniture here with the expectation that I may be back here on occasion so I wanted to have some decent fans in there but I've decided that uh, I'm not going to do that just for the sake of quicking the move in time I'm just going to take the furniture even though I don't really like it I'll just take the furniture with me and I will set it up in my house and then over the next year or a couple of months or whatever it is I will slowly replace the furniture with pieces that I like and then I'll put the furniture back here you know um, or whatever my mother wants to do with the furniture I don't know so that's that um, I guess what I'll do with this is I'll put this into the computer room but that room may get repurposed I think so I would keep the bedroom, but 
that computer room will likely will get repurposed anyways. And it's always cold in there, so it doesn't need a big fan. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a frosted thing. So that's that. Um, hopefully the bearings are quiet on this. Let's see. Yeah, they seem to be. So this is... Uh, I don't know what the information is on this here. It's all blurry. Just says cellophane. Uh, copyright 2013. M42G-I. It's got some labels for the fan and the light. Oh, there's the informations. It's the model number EF. 600G 42B. 0.38 amps, 45 watts, 620, so it's from last year. And it's impedance protected, which is kind of interesting. I would have expected it to just be straight up thermal protected. So this is a uh, 10 watt, <laughs> a 10 watt fixture. Okay, that's great. Um, 40 watt medium base, 10 watt. LED and they included a uh, a uh, another LED bulb here oh gosh this is a way a thing this is a made in China 9 watt LED lamp so this is the correct uh, specification alright well they don't seem too bad. Um, can't imagine it moves much air, but that room being in the back of the house, it doesn't get hot in there. So, the only time it really gets hot in there is during Christmas, which Christmas will not be hosted in that room ever again, so it doesn't really matter. Well, the pitch on there isn't terrible. It's certainly nothing... Uh, Nothing phenomenal, but it's not, it's not awful. I'm sure it don't move too much air, but it don't have to. Oh, it's a Powermax electric. That's the manufacturer of Powermax. Yeah, they've been around for a long time. They used to make some stuff for Hampton Bay too, I think. Let's take a peep at the blades here. Let's see what they look like. I'm not worried about saving the packaging, it's never going to go back in it. That's all jacked up, but that's probably no fault of the fee, and that probably happened in shipping. White side looks good and to be in good condition, so I think in this case we'll just use the white side. Actually, that's kind of junky too. I so, don't know, that's just dust. No, I mean, the finish is fine. It's this pretty typical bleached oak. It's kind of an interesting color. It's got like streaks of gray in there. But anyways. So, I don't know. That's probably fine. I kind of like the motor housing. It looks like a hunter low profile. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and, uh, that's that. Hopefully we have all the screws. Oh, I'm just noticing that. Do we have all the screws? There's one screw here. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, we do have all the screws. Alright, good. Good. Well, I think we have most of them. We've got, uh... Oh, yeah, I do. There it is. Okay, good. So we've got all the screws. Got the funny LED bulb, which I'm not sure I can tolerate that, but we'll see. Um, the LED bulb can stay when I move out because I have no use for those. And uh, I'll take these with me because we use those. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll put this in the kitchen just to start out with because in, in the kitchen, the, whatever's in there gets all like greasy and stuff, you know, after a while. You got to keep cleaning it. So I'd rather, rather have a newer fan in there just. Just for now, and then eventually I'll replace it with something older. 
that's a whole other story. So, go figure. Well, I don't know the fan and the original one shows up within a couple hours. It's Tipican.